Hello, my quilting friends. Today I'm stitching out a fun new design created by a friend. Karen from Fireball Quilts posted a design called Hardy Vine to her blog, and I have to give it a try. So let's get on the machine and see how this design works in free motion. So Hardy Vine is really cool. It's actually uh, based on a design called Cucumber Vine that I created many years ago. And Cucumber Vine just starts with a big spiral like this and how you would do cucumber vine is just travel stitch back out again and then branch off with another shape. Well for a hardy vine you're going to branch out with a heart shape and you're branching out with that heart from the top of the shape so it can be a little tricky if you find that one side is either bigger or smaller than the other just swing around it again with some careful travel stitching and that might balance it out. That was one of Karen's tips on her blog. You are going to need to do some careful travel stitching back out again in order to get kind of to the back side of that heart of that spiral shape and then kind of wiggle and spiral off to form the next one. Now personally when I drew this design and when I stitched it the first time I found it easier to form one half of the heart shape first, travel stitch back to the top and then form the opposite side, mostly because that kind of feels like a feather to me. I don't know why, but that just feels more natural for me. But I have to kind of think about it every time I do it, even still. It is um, kind of awkward to stitch a heart from the top like that, but it looks so pretty. So it's absolutely worth practicing and getting the hang of this design. So again, the way I like to stitch it is just to form one half of the heart first, travel stitch back, and then form the opposite side. And you might have already noticed this design really works good on a bigger scale. I'm automatically making my shapes, my heart shapes bigger, my lines bigger. I think that this is going to be an excellent bed quilting design because it just wants to expand, it wants to be big. Let me try and do a tiny one right here. And that's just a little bit more challenging. It's certainly possible, but it's a little bit more challenging. And I think that sometimes designs just want to expand and be bigger and you gotta just let them do what they wanna do. Now you notice that I'm working this in a row. That's the way I prefer to quilt but it's really important to keep this kind of random and the shapes working in all different directions. The hearts are going to be pointing up and down and sideways on your quilt and that is perfectly fine. Just keep it flowing, keep it curling around and it's going to look great. So that's it for Hardy Vine. I really hope that you enjoyed learning this design with me today. And thank you, Karen from Fireball Quilts for sharing this design with us. You can check out Karen's blog at chunkyboy.com slash fireballquilts. And of course, you can find all the designs that we've posted in videos to the Free Motion Quilting Project at freemotionproject.com. Until next time, let's go quilt.